Hey guys, welcome back to Moneo Pura. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Monica. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about deep conditioners. It's about 3.30 in the UK. Um, it's cold. I haven't had anything to eat. So I'm having a cup of tea and some snacks. Make sure that you stay till the end of this video because I will be telling you guys my top three deep conditioners that I would recommend and the top three deep conditioner that I love and that my hair love. So make sure you stay up to the end of this video so that you can get my thoughts on the top three deep conditioners that I would personally recommend to you guys. before we talk about our deep conditioners before we jump right on into this video if you are not already subscribed go ahead we'll wait hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so that you are notified when we do upload more videos so in today's video we're going to be discussing all things conditioner not just any conditioners deep conditioners you know, I've said in the past that um, when it comes to shampoo, you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money on your shampoos because it's there to remove stuff from your hair and your scalp. But when it comes to deep conditioners, they literally do the opposite. They are there to put moisture and nourishment back into your strands. So this is where you need to spend some really good money on some really good conditioners however deep conditioners doesn't always have to be expensive for it to work so in today's video i'm going to be discussing with you guys some of the lower end um, deep conditioners that are really good the middle end and also the higher end as well so there is something in this video for everyone so make sure you stay to the end of this video so that you can see and find out which one is good for you so deep conditioner number one is my all time favorite deep conditioner. I love this deep conditioner, but I hate the price of this deep conditioner. I know there's so many people out there saying, oh, you know, you need to spend money on your hair. Yes, I agree. However, I think some of these deep conditioners are just too expensive, but I digress. Let's, let me just, tell you which deep conditioner it is so it's the tgin honey miracle hair mask with here we go this deep conditioner is amazing this deep conditioner does amazing thing to my hair for my hair um, and it, it literally just sinks into my strands leaving it moisturized melting any nuts and tangles away and you know what from time to time I will um, go go ahead and buy this deep conditioner because it rarely comes on sale and when I do find it on sale um, I would literally stock up on this deep, deep, on this deep conditioner and the only time that I find I comes on sale is either during the, um, what do you call it? Black Friday sale or during the holidays as well. The end of year holidays, it comes, it, it sometimes goes on sale. And it's usually 10 or 20% off, but you know what? For the price, 10 or 20% off goes a long way. So um, yeah, so this is the, this is one of the deep conditioners that I would say that I would recommend you spending some money on, especially if you have dry hair, brittle, damaged hair. This deep conditioner will bring life, well, almost life, back to your hair. The next deep conditioner that I'm going to be discussing with you is a deep conditioner that I usually tend to gravitate towards when, um, when I have no deep conditioners. And the ones that I want are not on offer and I would tend to settle for this particular deep conditioner 
and it is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Deep Treatment Mask. This one right here. Do you know what? This deep conditioner does the job. It does the job of a deep conditioner. It does the job of moisturizing your hair. Um, I do struggle to detangle with this deep conditioner though compared to the TGIN deep conditioner. So this is a, a good deep conditioner, but it's also affordable. Um, I think it comes up just under eight pounds for this um, massive jar. And it's the same jar as the TGIN, or is it? This is 12 ounces. Yeah, it's the same jar as the TGIN deep conditioner. So the price point is absolutely crazy, absolutely different. However, this one is amazing. The next deep conditioner I'm going to discuss with you guys is one of my all-time favorite deep conditioner from, from Shea Moisture. Um, I love two deep conditioners from Shea Moisture. Um, the 10-in-1 um, deep conditioner, which comes in the purple labeling, and also this particular one. The 10-in-1 deep conditioner for Shea Moisture, I no longer have. Um, and it's currently not on sale, so I'm not buying it. So I am looking out for it though during the Black Friday sale. So I would definitely be getting that one if it is on sale. But this one is the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. And this, oh my goodness, guys, this deep conditioner literally melts, melts. This deep conditioner literally melts your tangles away. Um, I love it. It's so moisturizing. You can re you can detangle really well with this deep conditioner as well. Um, it's really thick and creamy. I think all the deep conditioners I'm going to show you, they are all thick and creamy, and my hair loves deep conditioners. And not only are they thick, as soon as you apply it to your strands, then sinks in into your strands. So um, this one from the Shea Moisture is a really, really good deep conditioner. Another deep conditioner that I'm going to talk about from the Shea Moisture line um, is the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. This is a long name. Um, and it's got Mafura and Baobab oils in it. And this particular um, deep conditioner is geared towards a protein treatment. So if you need a protein treatment without wanting to use the Afroji um, two steps um, protein treatment, then this one is a good one. I tend to use this maybe once every three months and it does the job. My hair doesn't really require protein that often because my hair is really really healthy but from time to time i i find that my hair need that little bit of balance with moisture and protein so when i do feel that my hair needs just that little bit of a boost of protein i'll tend to reach for this particular deep conditioner so i figured while we are on the shea moisture row um, i'm going to go ahead and mention um, this deep conditioner as well it's a deep conditioner that I have used in the past. I haven't reached for it in a very, very long time. And I think that the formula changed um, with this for this deep conditioner. I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. Um, and it has apple cider vinegar, peppermint and shea butter. I used to love and live for this deep conditioner and in the past I found that the color of the deep conditioner was a lot lighter than this one here um, and this is the second of this particular um, ingredients of the deep conditioner that I um, container that I have got and I find that it didn't give my hair the moisture and the slip that the first 
the first one that I got had but I could be wrong maybe my hair needs has changed so it's not reacting to um, this particular um, line of deep conditioner um, as well as it was in the past because my hair is a lot more healthier now maybe it doesn't need this but this with that aside this is a really really good deep conditioner it gives you slip it gives you moisture and it leaves your hair feeling really moisturized so um, if you're in um, in the market for a new deep conditioner try this particular one so the next deep conditioner that we're going to be discussing is the anti jackie curls and coils flaxseed recipe fix my hair intensive repair deep conditioning mask um one thing that i love about this deep conditioner is the size look at the size of that deep conditioner it's absolutely massive so this is 15 ounces so 426 grams and because i have a lot of hair on my head i can easily go through most deep conditioners but this one does go a long way and it leaves my hair super moisturized as you can see a lot of the deep conditions that i use are quite thick the deep conditions that i'm showing you guys today are the deep conditioners that work for my hair i have tried so many others in the past that didn't work but when it comes to our natural hair it's about trial and error we try some products if it works great make a note of it purchase it again and, and continue using it if it doesn't then just finish it up if you can or move on to another product until you find something that works for your hair so maybe some of these things that I am recommending today or that I am showing you today you may have tried it in the past and it didn't work that's fine but someone else might try it and it may work for their hair and this particular deep conditioner is actually really um, affordable so um, yeah give it a go good good dip conditioner good size and good price so we're almost there guys um, the next dip conditioner that I'm going to mention is oh my goodness an amazing dip conditioner and so many people rave about this dip conditioner however this conditioner is pricey and the last time that I bought this deep conditioner was at the Afro hair show and I think it was in it was either in 2018 or 2019 and they were going for I think either eight or ten pounds and when I saw this brand there I was so happy so it's the Camille Rose Agil Renew deep conditioning mask hope I'm saying it right so there it is this deep conditioner is moisturizing it is what your head needs if you have any hair issues if you have any hair relationship problems if you have dryness if you have brittle hair if you have color treated hair whatever issue you've got I feel that this <laughs> this deep conditioner would do the job um, it's really really thick um, oh, and it smells amazing it smells delicious so it's the Camille Rose um, and it's the cocoa and mango butter one this deep conditioner is life this deep conditioner is oh my goodness I can't I can't I've got nothing negative to say about this deep conditioner except the price but it's worth it the price this is one deep conditioner that I can buy full price and I won't get too upset this is this is the deep conditioner um, the next one that I'm going to buy from this line the next time I'm going to get a deep conditioner from this line will have to be during Black Friday. I hope the percentage, the discount on this will be really good. 
and I'm going to stock up on this deep conditioner especially if I'm going to be especially washing my hair every seven to ten days I need some really good deep conditioner so yeah last but not least if I said the Camille Rose deep conditioner was life if I said the, the Camille Rose deep conditioner was everything you need in life it's true however this last deep conditioner saved my hair but it's so expensive it's so expensive is it worth the price mm. I'm I'm indecisive on this one yes and no but this deep conditioner is amazing and I just ordered this deep conditioner because going into the winter month I, will, I like to start the first few weeks with a really really good deep conditioner I get this deep conditioner once a year and I will use it for maybe the first six to eight weeks of the winter month and then um, I will leave it and I will leave it and then use um, the other deep conditions that I've got throughout the rest of that time and when the winter months comes back again I'll bring it if I still have any left I'll, I'll use it if I have a hair issue also that I find that it's starting to if I find that my hair is starting to develop somewhat of a problem I'll pull out this deep conditioner as well and this deep conditioner is the Moroccan oil intensive hydrating mask here we go so I ordered this deep conditioner I think it was last week um, ready for me to use for the winter month and the, this deep conditioner I think it was almost 30 pounds it was between 25 and 30 pounds the size is reasonable it's 8.5 fluid ounces the size mm, could be bigger but the quality of this deep conditioner is amazing um, the Moroccan oil line in general have some amazing products But it's worth it so yeah so that is the end of the deep conditioners that i have got for you guys so now i'm going to let you know my top three out of all the deep conditioners that i have mentioned in this video so ready Ta -da! so these are my top three favorite deep conditioners and as you can see it's the three most expensive deep conditions that i have shown you guys today and simply because i believe that when it comes to spending money on your hair the two things that you need to spend money on are your deep conditioners and also your styling products so i.e maybe your leave-in conditioners or your styling gels I find that these are the only two places that you should really go ahead and splurge on and spend that money because these are the products that moisturize and hydrate your hair and stay in your hair to keep it healthy and healthy hair it causes also long hair so I hope this video has helped if you've made it this far into this video and you're not already subscribed to the channel we are all going to be judging you so go ahead, you still have time, hit the subscribe button below and also the notification bell so you are notified when we do upload more videos. Also, why not head over to our Instagram and follow us on our Instagram account as well. So I'm going to link our Instagram below on the screen and everything that you need regarding these deep conditioners will be in the description box below as well. So until next time, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.